Hello, Stan from GPT for Sheets here. I'm going to teach you how to control the execution of your GPT functions. Um, just as a reminder, if uh, you have a, a prompt, so let's say write a tagline for a shampoo, and then you type in your GPT function with your prompt, it's going to execute immediately. And this is not always wanted because you might want to prepare a spreadsheet template with uh, lots of rows, uh, different columns, different executions. And, and if everything executes at the same time, uh, you're going to run into some errors, you're going to run into some quota limits. Uh, it's uh, It can be a painful experience. So it would be nice to be able to control when some specific functions execute. And the good news is it's, it's really easy to do. So what you need to do is you need to have a trigger cell. So I will write wait here and then what you can do is wrap this execution here this gpt function into an if statement so, and you will say if b2 here is different than wait this little symbol here means different so if b2 is different than wait then execute gpt but if not just say wait and this way it waits so if I change this, I, uh, I change it to one, for instance, then it executes. If I put it back to wait, it will never execute. So this is um, this shows you it's very easy to control when you want to execute. You can apply this to all your functions. Um, then uh, what you can do with this trick, you can go even further. You can uh, sequence your executions. So let's let's do that. Here I have my trigger cell again. Wait. I have the beginning of a story, once upon a time on Mars. And here I have a function that says, okay, so I have my GPT function with the prompt is add 10 words to the following sentence. The sentence is A22. Okay. And then I've wrapped it into the if statement, just like above. So if B21 is different, sorry, if B21 is different than wait, then execute. But if it is wait, just wait. Um, okay, now I have, I want to, I want the story to be written gradually. Okay, so in the next cell, I have, I say, continue the story by adding one sentence. And I reference the B22 cell, which will then contain uh, uh, the continuation of that uh, prompt. And in B24, I reference B23 and so on. Okay. But uh, here I have, so I have uh, wrapped all of these executions um, into an if statement that checks if B21 is different than wait. Uh, the problem is these will all execute at the same time uh, once I change wait to something else, I will show you. So if I change this and I say go, everything uh, tries to execute. And you see there is lots of errors. Um, since I do not have that many rows here, it's fine. I just have like a dozen rows. But if I had, let's say, a thousand rows it would be, or 5,000 rows, it would, it would be problematic. Um, so you can actually make it so that uh, each row executes one after the other. Let me show you how. Uh, it's actually very easy. Instead of uh, referencing to B21, you can just reference the cell that is just above itself. So here I put, I ref, I re, I put the if statements condition on B22. Here, this one will be on B23. And for the rest, I will just drag the formula down so that I don't need to write it manually. You can see the results. This one just checks if B2032 is different than wait. Okay, and now I will say go again. And as you will see, they all execute in sequence, one by one, no errors. And this could go on and on and on. Actually, let's do it just to show you for the sake of it, I will drag it very deep. And it will execute one by one. And if 
if you're interested, you can read the story while you wait for the executions. So as you can see, I have this can go on for really uh, many, many rows. I have tested it myself on thousands of rows. It works fine. So uh, it's a great way to prepare your templates uh, with uh, big data sets. Um, I hope you appreciate this trick. Uh, let me know if it doesn't work for you or if you're having trouble, I'm happy to help. Let me know also if it works, I'm happy to hear it. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching.